Next one, please don't let Putin distract you from the issues that really matter. Ukrainian lives don't matter until black lives matter. Next one. We're looking at a giant war in February right now. Currently, that's the projections with the top people on the earth who claim they're not with uh, the New World Order Combine. It is war in February. So, hey, guys, as you can see from the start of the clip, I mean, the dude, again, predicted something that's going to happen, and he was right. He predicted a lot of things that were happening in the Chinese lab, and he was right. And guess what? If somebody is saying something on Twitter, and they get removed immediately, I think they might be right. And you're going to be like, whoa, what did they talk about this time? Guess what? It seems they have gangster labs in Ukraine. They, they, they shot a few missiles. They hit a few stuff. Everybody say like, oh, they're hitting like military places for the Ukrainian people. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But uh oh, but before we start, remember to comment, like, share, hit the bell and all those stuff. Bada beam, bada boom. Because hey man, it supports me. Is Russia military operation actually a smoke screen to target US labs in Ukraine? Speculation on social media suggests Russian strikes on Ukraine military installation could also include U.S. biolabs in the region as the Russian government has for years accused the U.S. of developing bioweapons near its border. Mm. The ulterior motive theory was put forth Thursday by the Twitter user War Clandestine, whose account was suspended soon thereafter. Fortunately, this thread was archived before the account was banned. Holy poop, I think I may be onto something about Ukraine. Zelensky said Russians are firing at military installation. How broad is that term? I'm seeing speculation that could include US installation biolabs. At first I was like, no way. Then I started digging. First I checked if the US even had biolabs in Ukraine. Turns out we do. And in classic US fashion, it's marketed as defense. What? Biological threat reduction program in Ukraine. Studying the most dangerous virus in the world at Russia border? Really? Okay, so we are studying the world's most deadly pedagons at Russia's border. It's just for defense? Not that big of a deal, right? Wrong. I don't know this until today, but Russia has been accusing US of creating bioweapons at their border. What? And they have a good reason to believe that as the US NIH funded gain of function in Wuhan. Then C-19 got out and it ruined the world. Russia and China asked the UN for US allies to be checked and limited in bio capabilities for four months ago. What? Really? You guys are gangsta. China and Russia indirectly and correctly blame the US for the C-19 outbreak or fearful that the US allies have more virus bioweapons to let out. This is massive. Yet I'm disturbed that I had didn't know about this four months ago. So how does that pertain in Ukraine? Well, well, where in Ukraine are the explosion taking place? Here's a reported explosion in Tusk. This is 75 miles inland in far western Ukraine, the opposite border of Russia. What does that have to do with Crimea, Donetsk, in the east? Well, it seems that they seem to be bombing something that has nothing to do because the whole battle with Russia and Ukraine in the beginning was in Crimea. Until they made that minx deal like a peace and ceasefire thing, you know. Reportedly, Kiev has seen missile strike as well and at their airport and military installation. Kiev is also one of the western side of Ukraine. Also a city that US government have confirmed the US have built biolabs in. Putin also continues to call it a special military operation, says he wants to demilitarize and denazify the country, but not occupy it. That's an interesting point. What is he really targeting? Putin knows America. If you want to stop something, say they're Nazi there. <laughs> yes, I know he targeted airports and military capabilities, but if Putin really believes as his admin has stated publicly multiple times that the US was creating bioweapons at Russia's border, then this entire situation could be way bigger. I do agree. 
I'm not sure what is going on, but in past four months, Russia and China accused US of creating bioweapons at the borders and none of us have heard about this and our media wrote it off as disinformation and largely didn't report on it other than call it conspiracy theory. Okay, I, I, I believe both. For all of this to make sense, you must provide the reality that the US NIH did indeed create C-19 in Wuhan, which has largely accepted as reality and confirmed in emails between Collins and Fauci. I broke down this official NIH email released by the Congress. Okay, I didn't even know this before start making this video, but I thought it was kind of weird though. I thought they were fighting because of the gas. You know, the gas that's going through Ukraine to the European countries. I think uh, it's very sad when Germany makes a massive oil and gas deal with Russia where you're supposed to be guarding against Russia and Germany goes out and pays billions and billions of dollars a year to Russia. So we're protecting Germany, we're protecting France, we're protecting all of these countries. And then numerous of the countries go out and make a pipeline deal with Russia where they're paying billions of dollars into the coffers of Russia. So we're supposed to protect you against Russia, but they're paying billions of dollars to Russia, and I think that's very inappropriate. And the former chancellor of Germany is the head of the pipeline company that's supplying the gas. Dude, what are you doing? You're making them more powerful? I have to make myself more powerful, but I need to protect you because I have to be the nice guy? I think I found out why you guys are so interested in Ukraine. What exactly would a mistake bioweapon lab be located anywhere near the let alone eight of them? You gotta be freaking kidding me, man. Here is a map of all verified Russian attacks on Ukraine at 3, 3 a.m. last night. Just a reminder that just a day and a half ago, Putin was claimed that he was just sending in peacekeeping forces to defend the area circled in yellow. Mm. Moreover, as war clandestine noted, the two nations have indirectly blamed the US for the outbreak of the 19, which seems to be the case as more evidence has emerged that NIH did in fact fund gain of fossil research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology where the virus was suspected to have originated. And are you, are, are you, if I could follow up, sir, are you urging China to help isolate Russia? Are you urging China to help isolate Russia? I'm not prepared to comment on that at the moment. <laughs> so when I saw this video first, I thought, hmm, I guess Biden has is busy, busy with the Chinese people, money in the pocket or something like that. But now that I see this article, I'm like, oh, why should I ask them to help me fight this supposed enemy when both of them are blaming me for doing something that I don't want to be responsible for? I'm like, hmm. And that made me realize whenever there's a war, the intention of the war is never clear. And that's why I never trust anybody that advocates for war for good or bad reason, because usually the only reason you would waste so much money because you have something to gain. You know, it's kind of weird. But for some odd reason, they did ban this guy. So I'm like, hmm. But well, then again, I don't know if Russia is on Twitter so we can ban. Well, he, they are on Twitter. Wait, isn't that a dictator? Why don't they ban Russia just like Trump? I don't know. You know, it's like everybody has an angle. Everybody has a reason. In the beginning, I was distracted by this information. A reminder not to assign the gender to anyone from Ukraine when tweeting World War III. Remember to use the correct term folks when referring to all Ukrainian folks. It's not hard to be inclusive of the gender in Ukraine. Next one. A lot of people in Ukraine crowding together inside. Only 35% of Ukrainians have vaccinated. Less than 2% have been boosted. Oh, you people are so dumb. Next one. Please don't let Putin distract you from the issues that really matter. Ukrainian lives don't matter until black lives matter. Next one. Draft the unvaccinated. But the real thing that's happening behind closed door, if you focus and do a little research, you can find them. The fact that social media exists, we are so well connected right now that a lot of things cannot be hidden. Don't go on Twitter to get your information. You can find it elsewhere. Make your own conclusion, make a pyramid scheme, took all the points, put them together, and you will see a consistency that might be the truth. But on Twitter, if you want to have a laugh, 
Just look at that. It's a Netflix show. It's fun sometimes. Especially these people that want to send the unvax to the war. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, comments, and see you guys next time. Peace. Don't get me wrong. My